Outrageous performance from those three. Uh, right, let's turn our attention to football's new world champions then. Argentina's players are and staff are on their way to Buenos Aires, where hundreds of thousands of people are expected to welcome home their heroes after a final many are calling the greatest of all time. Argentinians woke up after a wild night, I don't think they slept, quite frankly, uh, celebrations after a final against France that really did have it all. The final and the performances of Messi and Mbappe and others have left our pundits purring. An incredible spectacle, had everything. Um, I think two special footballers going head to head as well and then Bappe and Lionel Messi, and he just didn't know which way it was going to go. We didn't see a lot of Mbappe, and all of a sudden he burst into life, got his team back into it. Then we thought Messi had won it in extra time, and then obviously the penalty. It just had, uh, it was pulsating. It had absolutely everything as a football match that you'd love to see. And for it to go out of penalties and end up with the World Cup in Messi's hands, I think that was what a lot of people wanted to see. You know, he's an incredible player. You know, looks like a great human being as well. And uh, yeah, I'd have to say so. Some might argue in 66 when you look at that. Imagine doing analysis on 66 final when you've got, is it over the line, is it not? The last, you know, there was Jeff Hurst scoring a hat-trick in the final, left foot, right foot header. So in, in living memory, you know, I remember the you know, great World Cups in, you know, 86 when Maradona single-handedly took his team to the, to, the, to the final and maybe a disappointing final, 1-0, but even the fact that he was involved with the assist... But I would have to say probably the, the best that I've seen, certainly this final, in, in terms of absolutely everything was there that you wanted to see as a football game. Yeah, that personal duel, watching it did seem to really emerge. Uh, and I think someone observed, is it the baton being taken on by Mbappe from Messi? And then and Messi reaches out and takes it back yeah. again, which made it very distinctive, I think. It did. It certainly did. But I, you'd have to say, really, for the, in certain the first half, I mean, Deschamps recognised it very quickly. I think that's one of the things that we, you know, we took the two players off. It was like, wow, to do that in a World Cup final, that takes a lot of courage to do that. And you're going to know you're going to upset two big players in your team. In Dembele and Giroud, we didn't see anything from Mbappe. Then he moved more centrally. They got a bit more success out of him. Once he gets the once he gets the penalty, all of a sudden momentum shifts. We see it so often in sport, and that was one of the biggest momentum shifts I've ever seen. And the save by Martinez in the last seconds of the game to keep his side in it was just incredible. You know that that's really a moment that we're all going to talk about Messi, but that was probably the World Cup right there. Then once they went to penalties, Martinez again come into his own. And phenomenal saves, and he, you know, his stock has gone up a hell of a lot during this World Cup. That was a brilliant spectacle. It was a great advert for football in terms of the game and the, yeah, everything that you saw. I think the the comeback from the the French team again. It just showed that football's never never done until the whistle goes. High quality game, high quality players on the pitch, and real drama. And I, I think a really good uh, thing for a World Cup final. A brilliant thing to see, especially the, the two world-class players that sort of led both teams. I thought it was a, a great thing to see. Yeah, what a moment for, for Lionel Messi. It almost felt like he was completing football the way he finished off there. What did you make of that? Great story for him. And I think, um, yeah, I think it's sort of... Not that I think he needed it, because for me, he's one of the greats uh, anyway. But I think for maybe for other people, uh, for that World Cup win to add to what he's already achieved, I think it's truly incredible. And I think just the way he conducts himself, really um, great to see him at the end with his family and his kids on the pitch. And just a great scenes for him personally and for Argentina. If he was available in January, would you be keen on a, on a move for him? Keith, come on. <laughs> <laughs> You're starting that one. But no, he's a world, world-class talent. And I think you can, you can see that uh, age hasn't diminished his... His attributes, you know, he's never relied purely on pace. Um, he's got the touches and the skills, and I think it was the second goal for me was a real thing of beauty. I love watching that goal, and uh, he was integral to that.